A new video, a new story. Welcome. There are objects that look like to defy all attempts to understand their true origins. Because very often show anomalies that remain simply inexplicable. Among them are the Elfbert Swords. A series of artifacts that still today represent a great unsolved mystery. For years they are been found in various places scattered around Scandinavia, the Baltic Sea and other parts of the Northern Europe. It is a collection of 170 swords Vikings dated between the 19th century and the 1000 after Christ. The word Dolphbert is engraved on each of them preceded and followed by a cross. So far nothing special, but the mystery has began when it was decided to study the material they are made of and the way they were forged. These weapons were produced using one type of steel extraordinarily pure and exhibit a high carbon content. Making them much stronger and more reliable compared to other swords available in the region at that time. But what what makes them unique in the world is the fact that they are been forged using a technique which presumably was not yet available at the time they came built. To understand each other to create similar weapons would have been necessary heat the iron to about 1600 degrees centigrade at that temperature or impurities dissolve. To the dough other ingredients are added such as carbon to create steel. It is a very complex process but the result is a sword light free of impurities capable of keep a sharp tip he resistant forever. This manufacturing methodology, well known to the nowadays, it would come into use, in the area where the swords, before the revolution industrially almost a thousand years after the their date of manufacture. In the 19th century after Christ the main method of getting rid of the impurities in the metal was to manually hammering the iron for hours. At the time there were no furnaces that could simplify the job. Then where did the Elfbert swords come from? A possible rational explanation it was provided in a documentary broadcast for the first time in 2012 by the National Geographic. An expert blacksmith American said that he would be able to reproduce a similar shoot using exclusively medieval technologies. From the beginning he admitted the difficulty of being able to obtain a perfect result like that presented by the Elfbert swords. But that with the right level of skill their making would be was plausible. His experiment luckily it went well. But it was not without errors and inaccuracies. However one fact he succeeded in proving. Weapons like that could have also been manufactured in their epoch of origin but whoever had it built had to be considered one sort of magician. A person out of the municipality is in possession of powers extraordinary. Subsequent investigations also led to the hypothesis that the manufacturing technique had been imported from the Middle East in a period in relationships had been established trade with Northern Europe. A probable hypothesis but which is not currently supported by evidence overwhelming. But we keep talking about the mysteries tied to these swords. Especially of one which until now we have ignored. What does the word Ulfbert mean? Because it was engraved on the blade of each of the weapons? Maybe it might seem like a detail without too much importance but it must be considered in one thing. Carry out such an engraving work, that would have greatly increased the price of an already expensive sword expensive in itself.
It had to make sense. This was initially thought to be the name of their manufacturer but considering that they were produced in a time span of about 200 years these assumptions definitely seems unlikely. Then it was thought that it might be a trademark but this would solve the mystery only a half, because in those days the word she still had to be tied to someone or something. Almost certainly the name of Albert must having brought some sort of status or power to whoever was in possession of one of those swords. Even it is possible that you thought it might have a meaning magical. Another great enigma related to these artifacts relate to their place of manufacture. Where they would be created exactly. The logic would suggest in a place not much far from where they were found d that place could be the Kingdom of France. Famous for making swords of the highest quality. By the way it is presumably an Ulfbert sword it was a luxury item. The Ferrari of the sword so to speak. So to be able to buy one was must pay a very high price. In this regard it must be said that together the originals were also found always fake Ulfbert swords manufactured around 1000 AD. Exactly as it happens with certain branded products nowadays that they are forged and sold at prices these Viking shoulders were derisory subject of numerous reproductions of low quality. The time has come mentioned the more mysterious side of these weapons, what makes them even more enigmatic. 
regardless of who have actually built the method for making them must have been held in secret for a very long time e known by very few people. The reason is very simple. How much research has been done a document referring to their manufacturing method has never been found. This suggests that it should not have been no a little like secret formulas of some companies that make theirs unique product. It is interesting to note by the way that the production of these swords came completely stopped in the 10th century. And objects of this type they reappeared only about a thousand years later in that area. No one was able to guess in the least why it occurred this fact but everything suggests that the only people aware of the technology, necessary to build them, they lost their lives before they could pass on to someone else. Or maybe they have decided to wear it with him in the grave. Be it as it is Ulfbert swords remain a great one mystery that leaves many open questions to which it will no longer be possible give an answer among other things there is a further strange fact to consider. The Vikings wrote nothing about them they never mentioned them and you know how much they loved to tell their adventures. Yet they almost seem to ignore a fact that doesn't seem to make sense given their as extraordinary features. Why did they do it? Is there a reason in particular? There are still many questions that shroud in mystery the very existence of these swords that helped increase the power of the Viking people in ancient times. have reached the end of this video, a special thanks to those of you who have made it this far and of course I just have to say goodbye and refer you to the next video. Be good.